and I am back. Third video, one week. I am what? One motivated and determined to get this popping. Like, after that words of encouragement from Dale, like, I literally have to I have blocked out all distractions. And this is what I want. I really want my YouTube channel to reach y'all. I really want to get this thing popping, like, because I feel like I really got a message and y'all need to hear it. And let's go. So today's topic is called manifestations. I said the word right this time. I know y'all seen that um, short. I said the word manifestation. Forgive me. But I just want to let y'all know some things that I want to happen that is going to happen because I have to speak it into existence. And I just want to share it with y'all because, like, I'm super excited and ready. So, first of all, um, my hair is always wrapped up or in a bun because I have psoriasis in my scalp. And it is very wasteful money to get my hair done. And it, my hand stays in my scalp. Like, my scalp's very irritated. Right now, it is... I greased it a little bit, so right now it's fine. But my buns be cute. This is my edges. I just ain't done them, but cute. Anyway, so let's start off. So, do y'all know the purpose of when God wakes y'all up in the middle of the night? He don't wake y'all up in the middle of the night to get on um, Instagram and stalk people. He don't wake you up in the middle of the night to, for nothing but him. When God wakes you up, he is waking you up for us him he is letting you know that he wants to spend time with you and throughout your busy day that you decided to not show him any recognition he's gonna wake you up out your sleep and i show god like recognition between in my day but last night y'all well in the middle this morning i woke up at four in the morning me and god was having a business meeting this meeting lasted for like a whole hour and my son had gets up at 6 20 but I did not mind staying up, listening to God, talking to God, visualizing things. Y'all, I'm in the room. I had to turn my light down on my camera. I'm all on Google, Googling the things that God and I are talking about. Oh, my God. It was so powerful. And I was just, like, sitting or laying in the bed like, God, is this for real? Like, we are literally, I'm literally having visions of the things that he wants for me. And when God gives you a vision for you. Who, who, who? Bay, bay. Who can stop it or block it with what God has for you? Boo boo is for you. So, baby, I'm finna walk into my purpose. Um, and it's your purpose and your vision is not for everybody. So, maybe I'm not gonna tell you the full details of our meeting, but let me tell you some. Yeah, I'm finna put my neck, my foot on some of these people. Next, I am on gas. No brakes. It's on. 2022 is my year. My year. So, I've cut out smoking marijuana. That's such a big accomplishment in my life. If I get on y'all nerves talking about it, so what? <laughs> and anyway, yeah. Um, I haven't, I smoked weed since I was 17. And only time that I did stop smoking weed back then is when I was incarcerated for a month. But I went right back to smoking weed. But I'm telling y'all, I'm 39. And I have, haven't have had weed in two weeks. And I'm telling you, your girl is flawless. And I'm drinking more water. That's the crazy thing because I do not like water. I'm telling y'all, I do not like water. Well, I didn't like water. Let me change that because your girl is drinking more water. So I'm really just waiting on the benefits of that water to kick in. But I'm just super excited though, like because I feel like God really showing me stuff, showing me that my obedience is about to pay off because I fought with myself and fought with myself. I'm like smoking weed is not hindering me from my blessings. I don't know why I feel like that. I literally was like, God, if that's what's stopping you, then no. But I didn't feel like it, so I just continued and continued and continued. But I really believe that. I think I got what the what's the word? I'm talking about simple. I think I got clarification in my dream or in our little business meeting, man. God, that 
by me stop smoking weed and jumping out on faith and actually taking that step that God has has my reward coming and it's, it's awesome that feeling is freaking awesome so if you are battling with yourself trying to decide is whatever you're doing is blocking your blessing with God if if that's even a question guess what it is um yeah uh you messing around with that married man the bitch sorry uh, that's definitely blocking your blessings you cannot mess with a married man or a married woman on one because the bible says uh anybody that's married you that's going in front of god one and everything you touch and that person touch is gonna tarnish it's gonna not gonna work out for you or them or their family and it's just like a cycle so yeah man, being in other adulterous relationships stop that smoking stop that whatever you feel like you are doing that might be hindering you that you keep questioning yourself about Stop questioning yourself and just jump out on favor and end it. Dead it. You can't. If you got God in it, it you can't go wrong. So, like, what 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 could go wrong? Nothing, cause God is the head of it. Think about that. You can't be like, oh, if I if I stop messing with him, he's not gonna pay my bills no more. Blase, blase. You continue to mess with him, you gonna have no more bills to pay. Cause God gonna. So what you wanna do? Mm. Anyway, I'm speaking word from the rice, but that was in the past, long before this relationship. I mean, long, don't go getting crazy. Uh, yeah, that was in the past. So, but yeah, I just feel like, I just feel like a whole new person. I'm so motivated. I'm so determined right now, you know? And I fought, fought and fought with this account class. Oh, y'all don't know. I feel like, I know I'm finna pass it. It just things just... Even though it's just been two weeks of me being sober, these last two weeks have been the happiest I've ever been. My son, my eight-year-old son, he is super excited that I stopped smoking. Aren't you, baby? He wanted me to be stop smoking behind the booth. I want to listen to him. I had to do it for myself. Now, you cannot do nothing for other people to make them happy. You have to do it for yourself, but that is my child, so... I am doing it for him because that I birthed him. But for like a grown up or your husband or your mom, you can't do nothing for them. You got to do it for yourself. So with that being said, y'all put your foot on the gas pedal and take a leap of faith and just get out there and do it. So um, with that also being said, I've um very very much been obsessed about band life rv life tiny homes and i've also wanted a food cart for the longest and guess what if it don't happen this year y'all 2023 y'all watch out for me i'm gonna come through y'all city whip that thing super excited i think my son wants to say so do you want to say something oh wait my other baby's about to um cut my light off so forgive me he, there you go there you go so yeah we haven't my lighting crew is very very crazy let me see if my other eight year old my i'm nine years old oh, and sorry. i'm just make sure he doesn't cut off the lights again the, what well, lighting is bad here but like i love y'all and i just want to let y'all know jump out on faith you can't go wrong bye, bye.